fungi are everywhere and all life depends on them. breath we take shimmers with them, sporulating our mouths, lungs, guts and minds. Changes to climate accelerate the spread and fatality rate of fungal diseases, which kill millions of people a year, more than malaria and equal to tuberculosis. Oops, there goes another human. Adapting to higher carbon dioxide concentration and global warming, pathogens such as Aspergillus flavus produce higher amounts of carcinogenic mycotoxins. Our porous relation can be a deadly one. Evolution is chaotic, lethal, disrupting. It forces networks of organisms to diversify or go extinct. While climate upheaval catches out humans, fungi already have practical solutions. Since fungi tend to live in the soil, how they regulate and respond to changing weather conditions will massively impact the biosphere at large. But fungi also make their own meteorological conditions. Some Bacidomycocti mushrooms make use of rapid water evaporation, releasing spores into the complex wind currents produced by the outward spread of cooler air. Floating through the atmosphere, each spore acts as a nucleus around which water coalesces and condenses into humid droplets. When enough droplets merge, it rains. Spores seed clouds as well as mushrooms. This process could be an ongoing feedback loop, 
mushrooms release spores, which make it rain, which in turn fosters the ideal conditions for more mushrooms to grow. What weather are they germinating underground? Fungi outlive us, spanning impossible lifetimes. Even as they germinate before our very eyes, we know so little about them. What future worlds and weathers do they make around, through and beyond us? We don't often think about the invisible connections that fungi have with our weather, interwoven with systems of emergence, gathering, compost and decay. Each year, fungi coat each square millimetre of Earth's surface with 1,000 of their spores. What do 1,000 spores feel like, clustered in a dust-sized moment? Fifty million tons of spores released every year. One thousand spores on every square millimeter. Between one thousand and ten thousand fungal spores in every cubic meter of air. Between one and ten spores in every breath. 